Trying to get into shape can feel so fucking hard when you're just getting started, especially if you have a significant amount of fat to lose. You put in all this work and it takes weeks, if not months, to see any noticeable progress and you start to wonder, is this even worth it? Feels like a never ending uphill battle. You see, losing a significant amount of fat is no easy task. So if you're out there trying your best to make it happen, then my hat's off to you. I see you and I'm proud of you. But getting in shape and losing the weight literally makes gravity have less of an effect on you. Let's say you're 50 pounds overweight. You see, you're constantly carrying around 50 extra pounds, pulling you down, dragging you down. Now, when you can get rid of that, not only are you lighter, but if you did it in the right way, then you have also built muscle along the way, as well as making you stronger while also having less to carry around. It's a beautiful thing, really, when it works out well, but very difficult to just get the ball rolling. To me, it's like a plane taking off. Both fat loss and a jet taken off from the runway, they both require a ton of initial effort and input to, to lift off. But once you reach a certain point, it becomes so much easier and so much smoother and so much more efficient. Your goal is to just focus on making it to that cruising altitude, not the end destination. Picture an airplane, like a big ass Boeing 747 on the runway, getting ready for takeoff. It's huge, it's massive, it's filled with fuel, passengers, and all their cargo and suitcases. The engines start to roar to life, and there's a tremendous amount of fuel being burned. In these moments of takeoff, every gallon of fuel consumed propels the plane only a short distance in the grand scheme of things and the plane's working extremely hard to get going to get off the ground. If you were to calculate the fuel to distance ratio, it would be staggeringly high, but it's a necessary sacrifice to combat gravity and inertia and to actually get anywhere other than the runway. It's just like when you begin a fat loss journey, you're at a standstill, weighed down, not just by physical cargo, but the bad habits, the comfortable lifestyle, and the mountain that you see ahead of you in terms of the work that you have to do to get to where you wanna go. Getting the ball rolling is is the toughest task, but a necessary one. Each step towards change, be it your first workout, the initial changes that you start making to your diet or learning to track your macros, it feels so heavy with effort and you're not seeing results. The fuel that you're burning here for takeoff in the form of energy, willpower, and determination seems disproportionately large compared to the visible progress that you see in the mirror. But just like the airplane, this intense initial effort is absolutely necessary for what comes next. Now let's go back to the airplane for a second. Envision that this airplane has now reached its cruising altitude. It's way up high in the sky, above the clouds, and the runway is a distant memory. Here there's thinner, the drag is significantly reduced, and the engines are designed for this height, and now they're working a lot more efficiently, consuming a lot less fuel per mile during takeoff, and that fuel to distance ratio has significantly gone down. The plane is just flying effortlessly, covering tons and tons of distance with ease. This is the phase of your fitness journey that we call cruising altitude. After that initial grueling phase of getting started and getting going and finding your rhythm and starting to see some success, at this point, this fitness thing is starting to become a habit. The workouts that one left you <laughs> gasping for air and your lungs were on fire are now just another part of your day. Eating the right types of food becomes second nature and tracking your macros is no longer a chore it once was and maybe you've even gotten to the point where you know how to eat and you don't necessarily need to track your macros anymore. The debilitating muscle soreness that you, you know, once had when you first started, it's replaced by strength and your cravings are now more manageable and you're finding ways to make healthy alternatives to that stuff. And the best part is, is that you're finally getting somewhere and you're starting to see those results. Like the plane, you're now moving forward with a lot less effort and with greater efficiency and momentum. Now, this transition, unfortunately, doesn't happen overnight. Your fat loss journey is going to be marked by small, consistent efforts that accumulate over time. Now, in both standards, scenarios, your fat loss journey and the plane taking off. This initial phase is so challenging, but necessary. You can't skip that part. A plane can't just teleport into the sky. It has to take off. Without this intense effort of takeoff, the plane can't reach the efficiency of cruising altitude. Similarly, without the initial discipline and the struggle in your fat loss journey, you can't achieve the ease and efficiency of a healthier lifestyle. It takes work to get going. Once you get going, it's so much easier. So as you get going on your fitness journey, journey or continue
continue your fitness journey, just remember this airplane analogy. Embrace the challenge of taking off or getting started, knowing that each effort is going to bring you closer to that cruising altitude where maintaining your health and fitness will feel so much more natural and less daunting than just getting started. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. If you need more help on your fitness journey, first off, subscribe for more free videos just like this. And if you want to take it a step further, there'll be a link down in the description to apply for my one-to-one -one coaching program. In this program, we're going to create a custom plan just for you to make taking off and cruising to your fitness goals so much easier. There'll also be links to some other free downloads there, like a calorie calculator, a meal planning template, and by the time this video goes up, probably even more than that. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, let's fucking get this bread. Peace.